Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Cure Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial we learn how to use uh, the gallery texture and how to add different uh, frames to it and also to use uh, the um, some different screen events so you can uh, scale the um, frame up or rotate it or yeah add another position to it so you because um, I just want to recreate this idea right here or this um, a design I found on Pinterest and yes uh, let's start with the tutorial okay let's start with a tutorial and we start at first uh, with the grayscale or the gray background for our uh, filter um, and we use a rectangle for it so rectangle this is our BG rectangle go to full size um, in width and height okay add a material to it and call this material BG mat BG mat and add the flat shader type to it and create open the patch editor we need a patch for this and this is uh, the in the library uh, the I'll go back just for, for a moment um, in the library under shader you find different uh, shader types and just want to use the luminance shader type okay perfect done now we just need to create like you maybe know from when you are uh, working with LUTs it's maybe a, it's a little bit like that we need a camera texture at this one and we need the RGB information and we need a pack so the information for RGB pack it into our texture and we need the alpha for it so for vectors uh, the first three one are for the RGB information and add this to our texture and the alpha uh, this is um, the opacity or transparency of our patch um, shader patch and uh, zero is for nine percent uh, opacity and one is for the 100% um, of our opacity so we see the whole influence uh, from our luminance to our texture you can just go crazy with it so just uh, work with it so it's more uh, so slightly saturated uh, not so much but I just want to make uh, this look like in this uh, this example right here or will come close and I just want to go right here and now we start with our camera gallery texture and uh, we you will see maybe some um, tutorials uh, where they are using um, rectangles for the gallery texture that is uh, totally fine but in this case I want to use uh, the plane and that uh, has a simple um, reason because <laughs> Hello. Uh, I'd want to add different screen events later to our um, gallery texture so you can uh, re uh, make a scale it up and down, rotate it, move the object so and in this case we need a 3D object I uh, want to create with a rectangle but it doesn't work it doesn't work at all so uh, make sure you add a plane for in, in this case um, 
the plane. This is our gallery. Add the ma new material to it. Gallery net and go to flat. Now we want to add our gallery texture to it, but when you just add go to gallery texture, uh, this pop up fenster pop up fencer pop up window will appear so it's because you have to make sure that you um, just add the instagram and not the facebook um, facebook it doesn't work for facebook the gallery um, texture um, right now okay just add it again perfect go to gallery mat Go to Gary Texture and now let's test it. This is uh, the usual format you may use when you add the gallery texture to your scene. And I want to show you what happens when you have the square. And uh, the square is not the perfect fit for your gallery texture, so make sure. You go to your um, position, uh, your scale. In this case, when you use a rectangle, you can just add the height and the width uh, of your screen. But in this case, you have to make sure that you um, add it manually. So go to scale. Uh, you have um, the most uh, interfaces. Um, phone interfaces are working with or displays are working in. Uh, 9 to uh, 16 um, format so just add uh, 0 0.9 and 1.6 to it and now you have the right fit for your texture for your gallery texture for your mobile mobile device in the most cases in other ways, when I now add an example to it that is in square, yeah, it look, looks like that, that right now. But let's go back and I want to use uh, this one right here because we want to create this uh, illusion like in this um, example. What I want to add now is a different uh, types of um, formats to our rectangle. So I'll go to, I created different uh, PNGs for that. Like some crazy um, temp uh, alpha masks or some normal one like the square and of course the original size and everything between select all of them and go to uh, the inspector and go to texture sex uh, uh, texture sequence because we need to create whoops because we need to create an anim animation sequence. So I'll go to call this one gallery, or no, just alpha, alpha. And at this um, alpha, we need to create a animation sequence, call this one alpha two. And now go to your uh, at first to your animation sequence and choose the alpha we create and go to your gallery math material <laughs> and go to alpha and put the animation sequence into it now it's switched between uh, the different frames we see right here but we need just or one current frame and we want to switch between them via, via tab. You can use uh, the tab, uh, screen tab maybe,
but in this case I just want to use so that you don't when you uh, um, tap on the screen uh, every time the an, another frame appears so just when you tap on the um, frame uh, on this one right here so go to gallery our object and go to interaction patch and object object tab Oop. and between you can't add this directly so you need to use um, counter and make sure it counts to seven like in this case make sure your simulation touch, touch is on and now you can switch between the different frames or yes just frames okay maybe a little bit too many I think four or five uh, is enough um, but yes for this example it's okay screen events so let's start with the position the position we can um, use the, our test position right here we um, need for the others you have to make sure that you are connected with your Instagram account or with your or you just like in my case I'm not uh, I'm my Instagram is not working here I don't know why I it's not connected but I can, can upload it don't uh, you can ignore this one it works for Instagram I have uplo uh, uploaded it and it's now just in the um, testing and I think this one is uh, meant to when you are working with Facebook uh, you can't use you can't publish it so because of the gallery texture this is just a warning <laughs> okay um, back to we start with the screen and you see so many events uh, pen tap you know the tap maybe pinch and rotation pinch and rotation these are the um, events a uh, pen pinch and rotation these are the events we want to use so we start with the pen we just unpack the dimensions x y z or x and y we just need x and y so unpack go to because it's a two whoops it's a 2d offset or position i don't know divide two divides to it and go to 2000 and minus 2000 and go to pack again pack in this case three dimensions and go to position because we have three dimensions right here and I try to add this to a rectangle I just want to show you how it uh, that it doesn't work with a rectangle position add this one to it of course in this case just go to two and it doesn't work for the rectangle nothing okay so Make sure you walk with a plane. Plop. And of course, three dimensions. We have the information one, two, three, so X, Y, Z, and not only um, the uh, X and Y. We need all three dimensions. So now you can place it, make the kind of a look like in this uh, example but I can't show it uh, right here but uh, we want to make sure we add the rotation to it and also the scale so you can scale it and rotate the, um, the gallery 
the next one is uh, the screen rotation and just add multiply to it and minus one pack and this one is for this one right here and now you can can see it uh, but i show it later in my device and the last one is um, screen pinch and this one is a little bit different uh, to the uh, original so you w oh, of course you go to pack um, add every th single to it this is um but in this case it shrinks as so it's uh, like a square and you make you have to make sure that you um, start with the 0 0.9 and 1.6 um, like in your original example so delete this one and add some multiply to it multi apply in this case this is for the x and another one copy paste this one maybe a little bit more, need a little bit, bit more place more places yes. and this one right here this one right here and now nothing happened and let's test it right now in our um, device. Okay. okay, we are now in my mobile device. And you go to... I just played with this a little bit. So now you can scale it, rotate it, and switch between the different... frames and everything. When you want to add this one right here to a face tracker because you want more control or make it simpler for you to add uh, uh, this. I don't need that. I just need a face tracker. You can also add this to your face tracker and make sh can in this case like in the other one um, add this maybe it's easier for you makes more fun just be creative and what i do uh, in my um, example you see before i add also um, uh, retouching and uh, the color of uh, my background to it so that you can see uh, the retouch and when you want to know how to create the retouch when you use uh, lots or uh, some other um, LUTs or in this case uh, the luminance patch, uh, make sure you see uh, watch this tutorial right here. And yes, <laughs> um, thank, thank you so much for watching, uh, I really appreciate it like every time and when you have questions or ideas uh, especially about the gallery texture please let me know and uh, send me a commentary or send me a DM via Instagram and when you like this video please leave me a thumbs up and of course uh, uh, share it with your friends or with uh, everyone who wants to know this uh, about uh, gallery and the screen events and yes uh, we see us next time bye bye